Hey everyone, welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. We went on a little trip a few days ago, and when we got back, the house was cold. I mean, really cold, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This is one of the disadvantages of having a wood burning stove to heat your home when you go on a multi day trip during the winter months. So I decided to do a quick video discussing the importance of having extra blankets and quilts to keep you warm during the winter. Do not overlook the value of having a few extra blankets and quilts in your home. So when we got home, it was a bit late to try and get the whole house heated with the wood burning stove. We were already tired from our trip. We traveled across time zones, so there was a little minor jet lag. And on top of that, we stopped at an elegant restaurant to enjoy a nice evening dinner before arriving home, at which point we were ready to go to bed. However, my husband did manage to get the wood burning stove going to slowly heat the downstairs overnight. However, upstairs was still 46 degrees Fahrenheit when we went to bed. And I don't know about you, but to me, that is cold. However, we had fitted sheets, a sheet, a stuffed quilt, and a hand quilted quilt on the bed to keep us warm. And let me tell you, we were nice and toasty throughout the evening. The only minor discomfort was the late night trip to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Other than that, we were so comfortable and warm under the quilt that it did not even feel like it was 46 degrees Fahrenheit in the room. And for the little ones, pitch a tent in their rooms, provide them with a couple blankets in addition to their sleeping bags, and they will enjoy themselves. I did a video last winter called Winter is Coming, which details how to stay warm during the cold season if you have no electricity to heat your home, whether it be because of a temporary power outage or because you could not pay your electric bill. So take a look at that video. I will leave a link in the description box. Now, some people may advise you to buy a Mr. Buddy heater, power generator, or kerosene heating unit. And I would agree with that. However, I also know that there are some people who have very little money, people who are really, really struggling and cannot afford to buy any of those units. They barely have enough money to feed their families. Whether you believe that or not, it is true. So in those cases, I like to provide alternative methods to survive in that situation. And in this case, I am telling you a few Extra blankets and quilts go a long way at helping you survive the winter in desperate situations. It may not be ideal, but you can survive it. So please consider getting extra blankets and quilts, even from, even if from a thrift store such as the Salvation Army or Goodwill, as well as local community centers and churches. They really do come in handy. In any event, we could have turned on our, second door, our secondary heat source, which is oil heat that centrally heats our home. But we didn't need to. My husband got up early the next morning to get the wood burning stove up to temperature and the downstairs cozy. I fired up the Mr. Buddy for a little heat to knock off the chill upstairs. Everyone had on sweatshirts or sweaters, so... We may do. Within a few hours, we were back to normal in regards to the temperatures we were used to in our home. I hope this video proves useful to someone. If so, please like, share, and subscribe to help this small channel to grow.